Wow. Testing, testing. Testing, testing. No, 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 no. Come on. <clears throat> Sound preferences. Uh, sound. That's why. Testing, testing. Okie dokie. Now relaunch Skype. Guys, keep okay. keep going on to talking. I, I'm just almost ready. <laughs> okay. Cool. So, have, have you been selling a lot of them, Ellie? Everyone sort of messages me saying, "Oh, I bet you're rich." Like it was a a huge thing for. Like it was a, a huge thing for the world, and it, it just fell by the wayside because these SJWs decided just to, to take this moment for their own. But I would like to hear from Ellie. Yes, on Ellie. Let Ellie. Let's the, hear from the, you. Well, I want to. I want to hear from Ellie also on the origin of the shirt and how all that came to be because I actually don't know the story. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I made the shirt back in October because it was Matt's birthday. Matt is one of um, my husband and I. He's one of our really close friends. Um, he was best man at our wedding when we got married. We've known him quite some time. He and my husband were at school together. So we were all very close and he, I'd started sewing as a hobby. I taught myself from a book and YouTube 
and Matt saw I'd made a shirt for someone else and he said, oh, I really want one of your shirts. So I tried to find him the spaciest, sexiest fabric I could get because, you know, he is a cool guy and he has tattoos and he's very self-expressional. So we found this fabric, I ordered it in, measured him up, got it made and then for his birthday, that was his, his birthday present. I didn't know he was going to wear it for the pro landing. <laughs> Um, so that was a massive surprise for me as well, having to go through all the are <laughs> about it. Um, but it was upsetting. A, the next couple of days watching one of your best friends get upset and be harassed and abused. Depression. Um, like Mercedes said, though women on that shirt are very, very empowered, they're certainly not being oppressed in by any means. And no, um, so, I mean, I... I didn't get it. Personally, I didn't get it. But then I suppose my opinion's a little bit biased because he's one of my closest friends. But I think people get in their panties in a bunch over nothing, really. And he did. It took it away from this amazing historical event. Landing a probe on a comet has never been done before, ever. Yeah. This is the first time in history, and it did spoil that moment for him. It, it did, and all of us, really. Yeah, and that, that's... The like I, I can't believe that that in today's day and age with everything that's gone on with like the advancement of women's rights and everything that people are still going on about a woman who or, who or, or even somebody who decides to wear somebody or a woman that's scantily clad on their shirt or a woman who chooses to be scantily clad in public or whatnot that that, that people still see that as oh they should be ashamed for dressing like that and they don't some people some women don't see that as empowering at all and I, I just don't get that if you ever look at some of these feminist marches i don't know if either of you have ever seen <laughs> yes when they bring all this crazy bondage gear with their the jjs hanging out and and they're normally not they're not that clothed and they're showing a hell of a lot more than these cartoons on a shirt are and yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, and the older ones aren't nearly as as good looking as they once used to be. So I think that that, that plays a, a huge factor in uh, like the the bitterness of some of these ladies. What's that? Yeah, I lo we lost you for a second, Jordan. What, what did you just say? Uh, I, I, f I find that uh, the bitterness of some of these older feminists uh, that that uh, I think maybe they used to be hot in, in their day, and, and now it's it's. it's not a factor anymore so they're just taking it out on all the the, the prettier ladies <laughs> well there, there's kind of a you know i think there's a real hypocrisy there it's a it's kind of like and it's ironic because i've met this sjwe types of of all ilks so it's like there's some that are you know that are kind of the uh, like cam girls and stuff like that so they're fine with nudity you know and sex work but not somewhere else there's a lot of it has to do with like their own personal victimhood paradigm and it and it's totally ridiculous because especially the, the things they choose to get offended by i didn't i actually when i first saw the shirt i actually didn't see the naked girls on it. I saw space and I saw cartoon characters and I saw empowerment and I saw like it was really cute and kitschy and that's I saw the style generally like I, it didn't even register to me that there are women on there that are in you know wearing different I can't even remember offhand like what exactly outfits are wearing I guess they're bikinis and like space outfits yeah. so what I mean yeah. it's it's that was not like if that's what you're seeing out of a really cute shirt then you have the problem well, like, this, this, the shirt's not the problem. And this aspect about them being repressed women, and maybe it, if the argument would be justified if they were, like, say, in chains or or something like that, but they're 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 not. So I don't I don't get how they're they're being oppressed. Just be, they're, they're good looking models that that were that were chosen for the fabric. So, like. <laughs> Well, people can choose to be offended by whatever they're offended by. Yeah, so true. everybody can, they can be offended by the shirt. There's no, I don't have a problem with them being offended by it, but them attempting to harm somebody's career because they don't like a shirt that the guy's wearing, that's where it becomes a problem. See, I don't think anybody has a problem with the opinion of the social justice warriors. I think we have a problem with them using their opinions to harm other people. That's where it becomes an issue. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, uh, Ali, I'm not sure if... Uh, did you make the ones that Joe Rogan decided to to do on his show? <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. Yes, 
Those um, were he either. got in touch with me not long afterwards, um, and I sent him and his co-host. Yes, um, Red Band, Red Band. Yes, Red Band. The, if you want it badly enough, that field. If you want it badly enough, and you've got the skill set, you'll do it. You will do it against all odds. That, that's that's definitely uh, true. Like the the <clears throat> another thing that uh, was was really I guess irking me was the the. Oh uh, shit! I lost my train of thought. <laughs> my, my dog, I mean, my dog walked we past. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, I'm not as involved with the GamerGate stuff as I think Mercedes knows a lot more about it than I yeah, do. Yeah, I yeah. was aware yeah. of GamerGate either before all of this kind of happened. Um, but in my experience, the GamerGate community have been really supportive and really, really nice. That, I don't understand why people get upset about Gamergate. Well, I think people don't realize that gamers tend to... They, they seem to think that a lot of them are just little kids yelling at a microphone in their parents' basement. But a lot of that, that, that that's what it used to be. A lot of it's now like people who have grown up playing video games and that they, they, they've literally grown up with these titles. So... When you're when you're really making an argument of well why why are you making the women look sexy this that and the other thing well it it's just the natural progression of that technology because it used to be they used to look like hexagon figures and shit like <laughs> what what would you like okay sorry that uh, it, it's just it's not up your it's not your cup of tea but don't don't fret on us just because the technology is actually getting good okay maybe we'll make it th there's, there's going to be somebody who invents a game strictly for feminists and strictly for social justice warriors and th then they can oh. have their own thing but yeah, I don't, know, I, I don't think any, any of the male characters in any of the games I've seen are particularly unattractive either like who no one really wants to I mean, even as women you can still appreciate another attractive woman and think, "Oh yeah, nice rack." Well, like I use the I use the the video game Batman as example because oh, uh, even the sound is pretty bad. Is, is it really bad? Can you hear me? You cut out. I couldn't hear you. Oh, sorry yeah, about that. Is that? I keep losing both of you. If you want it badly enough, that field. If you want it badly enough, and you've got the skill set, you'll do it. You will do it against all odds. That, that's that's definitely uh, true. Like the the <clears throat> another thing that uh, was was really I guess irking me was the the uh, shit. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> <laughs> my, my dog. I mean, it, my dog walked we past. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I I'm not as involved with the GamerGate stuff as I think Mercedes knows a lot more about it than I yeah, do. Yeah, I, yeah. Aware of GamerGate either before all of this kind of happened, um, but in my experience, the GamerGate community have been really supportive and really, really nice. Um, that, I don't understand why people get upset about GamerGate. Well, I think people don't realize that gamers tend to they they seem to think that a lot of them are just little kids yelling at a microphone in their parents' basement. But a lot of that that, that that's what it used to be. A lot of it's now like people who have grown up playing video games, and that they, they, they've literally grown up with these titles. So when you're when you're really making an argument of well, why why are you making the women look sexy? This that and the other thing. Well, it, it's just the natural progression of that technology because it used to be they used to look like hexagon figures and shit. <laughs> like what? What would you <laughs> like? Uh, okay, sorry that uh, it, it's just it's not up your it's not your cup of tea. But don't don't fret on us just because the technology is actually getting good. Okay, maybe we'll make it. Th there's there's going to be somebody who invents a game strictly for feminists and strictly for social justice warriors, and th then they oh. can have their own thing. But yeah, I don't, know, I, I don't think any the male. Can in any of the games I've seen are particularly unattractive either. Like who? No one really wants. To, I mean, even as women, you can still appreciate another attractive woman and think, "Oh yeah, nice rack." Well, like I use the I use the the video game Batman as example because oh, uh, even the sound is pretty bad. Is, is it really bad? 
Can you hear me? You cut out. I couldn't hear you. Oh, sorry yeah, about that. Is that. I keep losing both of you. Uh, the, it, it, can, every, uh, the, it, it, can everybody hear me now? Yes, I can. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I can too. All right. Sorry about that, ladies. Uh, where were we? Shit. Um, let, let's uh, move on to the, the next thing I wanted to talk to, uh, especially Mercedes, about. You, you used to be an engineer and kind of uh, strikes me as odd considering your field of work now. And I've heard a few of your, your prior interviews, so I don't want you to have to delve into it too much. But how did you decide to make the transition from the, the, the private sector into technically the, the, the private part sector? <laughs> well, um, you know, it was, I mean, it, people act like I, you know, I was working in aerospace and then all of a sudden one day I said, hey, I'll do porn. And that's not really how it went. I was, I was, I, I always joke that I'm.